be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now listen, today we're going to be continuing our series, The Quickest Way to Do Things in Logic Pro 10. Today I'm going to be showing you the quickest way to make your 808s stand out in the mix. Okay, so to demonstrate this, I'm going to play this uh, beat loop that I'm working on here. And then I'm going to show you the quickest way to make your 808s stand out in the mix. Check it out. cool so the beat is pretty dope you can actually kind of hear the 808 but it's not really standing out in the mix like it needs to so the way to do this and the simplest and quickest way to do this is to eq um the melody um and what i mean by eq in the melody i mean you're going to want to do something called subtractive eq where you take away some of the lower frequencies to make room for the lower frequencies of the 808 okay so we got this uh melody right here what i would do is come over here just click on this uh this area right here, or you can come over here and add your own EQ plugin. And you want to click on this option right here. This middle guy right here, you're going to push that up like this to round this off. And then you want to take the frequencies and just roll those off, roll off all the um, most of the lower end frequencies. And then what you're going to get is this. <laughs> As you can hear, if I was to A-B this, you know, it doesn't sound as muddy um, once you EQ it. So listen, if y'all like this tip, go ahead and give me a thumbs up on the video and make sure you get subscribed. We also have courses, kits, and a giveaway that we're doing all you have to do is go to my site beatmakingbasics.com you can check all that stuff out there but anyway y'all thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video we're out